Hey guys, it's Becca and this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about my mental health, doing like a mental health update. So first of all, I'm not going to go into detail about things because I don't want to trigger anybody, but I'm still going to issue a trigger warning just in case. I will be talking about, you know, like my mental health and sometimes that triggers people. So I just want to let you know, like if you're sensitive to that, either watch this video with caution or don't watch it at all because I don't want to trigger anybody. So now that, with that being said, I'm going to get on with the video. If you hear sizzling in the background, I'm making veggies, so hopefully they don't burn, but they probably won't because it's on low. Um, but anyways, yeah, so these past few months have sucked. <laughs> They've sucked. If you watched my Why I Left College video, I think I addressed a little bit about um, the last two months of college or last two and a half months of college. I was very depressed and suicidal and just not in a very good headspace overall. I was anxious constantly. I wanted to be alone, but didn't want to be alone. Most of the time when I was around people, I got very nervous and it was not a good time for me. Um, but thankfully I did have the support of my family, my internet friends, and my one friend Carissa and my friend Natalie. Um, without all of their support, I pro I'm gonna start crying because like I felt like I had nobody even though like they were helping me. And if they hadn't helped me, and they ha if they hadn't listened to me rant all the time about how I was feeling, I don't know if I would be here. I don't, because it was just a really hard time for me. And I think, like, I thank them from the bottom of my heart for that. Anyway, sorry. Um, but when I left, I felt so much better. I've had a weight lifted off my shoulders, and I thought, everything's going to be better. Everything's just going to be better. And here I am struggling again but isn't it's not as bad as it was then but i'm still struggling and it's okay to struggle um i feel like oh, people like not my family because they see how i am but like people on social media think well they perceive me as somebody who's very positive all the time very inspirational like posting inspirational stuff or like being or something like that and that's just not the case I want to spread positivity for other people because I don't- I hate when other people are sad or down, but sometimes I don't take my own advice. I just focus more on other people. That's just the kind of person I am. I'm always pouring my energy into helping other people, and I don't really focus on myself. And I remember- I think it was one of my sisters, or my mom, they were like, you need to- f I, I don't remember exactly what they said, but it was something along the lines of, you're pouring your energy into all these people, and you're not- doing the same for yourself and that's true and you'd think oh we have all this free time so why wouldn't you be pouring your energy in yourself i'm like because i kind of avoid it i kind of like i'll sit and be like oh i'm so sad i'm so anxious but i don't really do much about it um but this is me doing something about it this update check-in video is holding me accountable i guess and i'm gonna fix it I've just been very, I've been feeling very insecure lately about like my acne. It's not even that bad, but like it's not where I want it to be, if that makes sense. Because I think it's from stress and from my diet, my diet, my diet, my diet has changed a little bit. I need to fix it because I used to eat decently healthy and now I'm like, eh, on the health side. I need to get back into doing yoga. I keep dropping that. I didn't, I have a $20 yoga mat, I gotta start using it, um, but yeah, lately I've just been very anxious and crying a lot and just feeling very down, um, when Milan was here, you know, my internet friend, if you saw my video, um, even, there was one night, I was just very anxious and we were at an amusement park, I was very anxious, not the whole time, like during the end, because I felt sick on a ride and that made me that just made my head spiral and I started getting anxious and sad and the, the all the people that I'm with, Milan, my sister, my friend Natalie, they all noticed that I was struggling and so they took me on my favorite ride which made me feel so much better. We went out like literally three times or like four times in a row and it made me feel a lot better. Um, but after Milan left I think that like kind of drained me a little bit and I and I've just been feeling very stuck because I need to get a job because I thought I had a job and that didn't work out. 
unfortunately, but I need to get out of this slump. I need to go look for a job. Like, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably tomorrow, I'm probably gonna call some places and see who's hiring. Sorry, those are very long, <laughs> but yeah. I just wanna, like this video is just kind of an update, accountability. I said that like 15 times, but I need to just remind myself that it's okay to not be okay. But I can't keep myself in this cycle. I need to get out of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't know if you really would enjoy it, but no, I hope you guys got something out of it. Um, hold yourself accountable. Take care of yourself. Um, I wish you guys the best, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.